Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back to Sky Factory 3 and look at our base. It is coming together nicely. If you missed last episode where we built this, where were you? Where were you? Look at this. Look at this. This is my new kind of upper base thingy majiggy thing base. I don't know. It hasn't got a name. Unlike the barn and the warehouse, this place hasn't really got a name yet. So if you've got any suggestions uh, for a name... <gasps> Yes, glass, glass. I've got used to this now. I've got used to this. I'm kind of leaving this here just for now, just in case we need to do anything else. And you can see I've moved some stuff up here from our platform down there. We've got our kind of power kind of system over here. And that is basically, that is all the capacitors that I have uh, right now. I'm kind of generating quite a bit of power. So, and you can see maybe, no, you could see, oh, I need to put some more sneaky blocks around here. Maybe, have I got any on me? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Let's, uh, let's just quickly put a couple here. There we go. Um, yeah, I've got my solar panels here. You can see that is, yeah, it's generating power. So I'm, I'm kind of, wait, where is it? Here it is. Um, I'm kind of decent for power. I don't have to worry too much. I've got some random stuff over here. I made the achievement stand. We're going to return to that momentarily. I've got two sets of uh, sag mill and alloy smelters. These are linked, so if I chuck something in there, it will automatically go into the alloy smelter and then go straight back into my system. Here we have the system. Obviously, I've got two uh, network transmitters there. I don't know if I'll leave that there. I think I will. I think I quite like them. I don't think that's going to be there, though. I don't like that there. And then we might put some blocks around that just to make it look nice. To make it look nice. I don't know yet. We shall see. Uh, and then over here, I've got some Ender IO stuff, the painting machine, all that. My environmental controller, which I do love. And then here, I've um, I've hooked up from my um, where is it? From my chickens that are here, which we will need to move at some point. Uh, that is basically the absorption hopper is feeding into here, XP juice. Uh, and now I'm kind of just extracting that into an Ender tank, and that is coming up to here. And that is going up into that tank there. And that means basically we can, if we if we want at any point to get some XP, there we go. We can do that and we can store it in here as well. I just thought that would be nice to just literally have on tap, uh, which is very nice. So uh, let's go over to the achievement book. It's something that we haven't really done for quite a while. Uh, and I've ticked off one or two things here and there. So all of that is done. We still haven't captured a cow in a jar. I probably should do that. That's the only thing from the farming age that I haven't done. Uh, mystical farming. Now, see, a lot of these things I probably won't bother doing. I don't know. Maybe I will. I definitely haven't done that. Uh, yes, done this. Travel to the bottom of the nether using a boat. Interesting. Interesting. Use a diamond chest transport. I, you know what? I have done that. I don't think I did five, but I. that's fine. Oh. Yes, we've traveled to the beneath. Not done that yet. Not done that yet. That is something that we will be working on soonish. Um, see, I never, I never automated the opening of it, but I don't think I'm going to mess with them either. Uh, end of, oh yeah, end of pouch. I've not really needed to do that to be honest. Automate storage of ore pieces, chunks from an automatic sieve. Ha. See, I don't think I've done that really, but again, I, I think I've. I've gone past that. So we have not done any extreme power. We definitely have done that. I can't remember how much how much uh how much power they create. Um two thousand. So I am probably can I? I don't think I'm quite at 10,000 yet. I'm near that, though. I'm near that. Um, solar array tail, what? Ah, no, we haven't done that. We haven't done that. What else? Uh, no, no, no. No, no. Wow. We haven't done a lot of that at all. We haven't done any kind of blood magic stuff, haven't done any Batania. I want that at some point. Yeah, that at some point we are doing. We are definitely doing that. Automate with a killing. That is that is upcoming. That is very much upcoming. Yeah, we need to I would like to do a lot of those things. 
Ah, yes. Okay, so this is something that we'll probably be doing today, actually. And that is what I would like to do. Start doing some RF tools. Yeah, to be honest, I've got to say, we, we haven't done as much. Ah, look at that. Get 20 different chickens and automate resource. Oh, we've, we've definitely done that. Definitely. One billion RF per tick. Wow. Wow. Uh, yeah, I want to do the colossal chest at one at some point. People keep telling me to do it, but also I just I don't like the way it looks. Uh, fill a quantum storage unit. Wow, that's going to take forever. We haven't done. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of surprised actually. Twenty different crops. That is a lot. That is a lot. And we could. I don't think we can actually do that. Even that's. I think it's like about four million cobble. Which we only have about one million right now. Uh, oh, that my my cobble isn't even on there because I haven't I haven't got it from here. Uh, I haven't hooked it up to the system. One point three million. So you know, we've still got a lot to do. Anyway, anyway, what I wanted to do today is have a look at the RF Tools Dimension Manual. Uh, oh, I've got some Tinker stuff in my. Let's just put that in there for now. For now. Uh, Let's move that. Let's move that. I've got a deco bench out here as well. Let's just let's just plonk that somewhere. Maybe there for now. There we go. Um, I, I, I want to clean this up. I don't really know where to put my bed. And um, the bed is such a random thing now to have in a kind of base like this. Like it really kind of just looks out of place. Um, but anyway, anywho, uh, yeah, RF tools. So let's have a look at this. I have kind of done RF tools before. I've got some dimlet parcels there. I have a fair few dimensional shards, which is, well, or, which is actually really quite nice. That is going to help us a lot. Um, now then, will the, yeah, is that better? So we need a dialing device, modular storage, destination analyzer. See, we knew all of this stuff. So let's make, uh, let's make a few machine frames. And I do like RF tools, you know, it's a very, it's a very good mod. And it's sometimes one that I don't often kind of do everything with destination analyzer. I think I need one of those. Let's do that. Build a block. No, 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 node. Okay. Ah, dimension inscriber. Definitely need a that dimension built. Ah, Ah, now then. Well, that's, we've hit a snag there, haven't we? Dimension editor, definitely do that. Dimlet workbench. Interesting, dimlet base part. This is the basic part of a dimlet. You get this by deconstructing other dimlets in the dimlet workbench. What? You can... In the same workbench, you can also use this item to make new dimlets. Yeah, but you need that to make the workbench. This is confusing. That is very confusing. So, Dimension Builder. We need Awakened Draconium, which we can only get from Fusion Crafting. Which we need a heart for. But we need to up our tier of of fusion crafting let's have a look i can't remember what it takes well this could very much put a dent in my uh, my plans today and i need one two three four five six seven yeah i need oof, seven of these that's not too bad that isn't too bad but that is basically that is seven seven nether stars that i would need to do that that, I mean, that is very doable. Maybe, maybe we will do this. Okay, let me, let me get seven nether stars. Uh, maybe I should have been working on a nether star thing, but I don't want to do that today. That's a quite a big project. I'm going to do all of that in one day. Well, one episode uh, coming up fairly soon. Uh, we, I think we're going to build the factory pretty soon. That will be the next kind of project. I just wanted to take a, a break from building since I kind of went from that into this immediately. So gonna take a little just a small a tiny break from building so let me do uh let me get some of the nether stars and then yeah we'll we'll try we'll try to craft some uh some awakened draconium right then i have seven nether stars i should i should have enough to make seven of these come on there we go yeah brilliant so 
I believe I have enough for all of this to make seven of these. We probably really should be making eight because a lot of recipes have, you know, eight. Um, if we look at the uses, although actually maybe not, maybe not. Interesting. Oh, that's to make that. But if we look at that, yeah, that is definitely seven. We are correct. Wow, we need a lot more draconic cores, but actually not too bad. Uh, yeah, I, we can we can do that. We can do this. So let us go down to our our fusion crafting thingy setup here. I kind of left this because I didn't really know where to put it yet. But uh, uh, if we do that and uh, go to here, receive power, that should hopefully be doing all of this. So. So, we need to separate all of these, which is a bit of a pain, a bit of a kerfuffle. Uh, and then we need four diamonds, uh, that, 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 like that. So, so we have you, 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 and then you, and then two of these guys, uh, that... And what else was it? I feel like I'm forgetting. Oh, it is. Ah. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Now then. <laughs> that is annoying because we're going to have to make seven of those, aren't we? That is that is quite irritating because otherwise we don't have the things to actually... Oh, man. Here I was thinking we could actually upgrade that. So we need seven of these now as well. That is pretty simple. Um, There we go. Uh, yeah. Let's do that quickly. Um, how silly. How silly. So, another seven of these. Oh, that, that'll do. And now seven of these. There we go. Right. Okay, back on track. Back on track. So, let's get you out. Let's put you there. And then let's put you in there. So, this should, I believe, if we put this in here... Yes, we should be doing this. It's charging. It's doing everything. I do like the way this looks. I think it's quite nice. We might put that in there somewhere um, because it looks kind of cool. It does look kind of cool. I don't know how much we'll be using it, though, but um, it definitely looks cool. Now, don't worry. I won't be doing all of this on camera, but I thought I'd do the first one. You know, you want, you might want to see how it looks. Some of you, I'm, I'm sure, will know, but it does. And we did do, we did do my... Uh, my pickaxe and all of that but uh but still i thought you know we'll do the first one we'll do the first one together and then i will move on and then yeah we, we can make the awakened draconium i still have the heart of the dragon somewhere so there we go first one first one is done okay so i have my new fusion crafters so i do believe that it would go like that uh put you there uh and then that that and that and then i should if i put this in yes so it is spending my only dragon heart and if we look at the uses for can i can i look at the uses for that just quickly um there we go yeah dragon egg you can you can basically craft a dragon egg. it is quite expensive these things are shulker pearls uh which yeah so endstone and shulker pearls which i believe shiny pearl harvested by right clicking on a shulker mostly used for decoration i mean i right so that's gonna gonna at some point have to kind of farm that basically and craft that uh, and then a dragon egg mill which apparently you that will give you basically apparently almost infinite grid power somehow i don't know if you need to put a dragon egg near it or something i don't know uh, but for that we need dragon stone from britannia as well which is an elven trade so i don't even know if that is doable all these things, nether star generators, more dragon's breath. So this is kind of, you know, fairly far into the future, which is kind of why I want to get into RF tools dimensions now. Kind of start that process because at some point we're going to get a dimension basically of dragons. That is the kind of thing. So anyway, let's do this. That is charging and that is not potentially getting enough energy. Is that why? now then that is oh okay so it is doing it but it is not i bet it's not doing enough kind of energy transfer 
max 20,000. Yeah, see, that's not a lot, is it? That is not a lot, and it does need a lot. So, anyway, it is doing it at the very least. So, I'm just going to have to do that waiting game. Right, well, that took forever. I've got some Awakened Draconium now. Uh, I'm just setting this up, a Destructor and Constructor, and this Destructor has a Fortune 3 upgrade because I want to I wanna do this, basically. Uh, yeah, that, there, that. Uh, there that so that I think should basically yes go through all that and we'll we'll get some dimensional shards now uh, there you go look at that slowly kind of doing that because I would like uh, an infuser as well oh no uh, can we can we have a look at that uses uh, crafting is that the infuser yes machine infuser because we can infuse machines and that is a good thing to be doing and though I can't exactly remember how it works I think you just put shards in there uh, oh that's not actually a thing <laughs> there we go put you there can can you oh uh, well yeah you are sending so is that why is that not getting power No, I don't know why that isn't getting power. That I think that should be getting power. But anyway, uh, I I've set this up here. I haven't built the uh, dimension builder. Maybe do I? If I put it there, will it get power? Ah, oh, okay. So you're getting power from there. Interesting. So all of these, and I think pretty much every RF tools machine can be infused, and that makes everything a little bit more efficient and better. But anyway, there's one uh, thing that we haven't actually. We haven't actually um, made yet, and that is what is it? The RF Dimension Builder, I think it was, wasn't it? Was that was that what it was called? It's been so long since uh, di di Dimension. It was down here, Dimension Builder. There we go. Look at that! Wow. Right there we go. We've got that, so that is a good thing to have, and. Yeah, we can we could probably infuse that at some point, and that's what I'll be doing at some stage. But I just kind of want it to plot this. Ah, yes, okay. So this is the actual builder. So we're not doing. I don't know if we need the destination analyzer. I'm not. I'm not certain. Obviously, I've got no destination. So it's probably time to get some dimlets open. I have got some dimlets. I've got some dimlet parcels. There we go. Just like that. Let's open a few of these. Uh, like that. Oh, and we have, we definitely have some. And, and yeah, I'm really not sure. The base part, is that a base part? Aha. Yes, yes it is. Okay. So we should be able to make that now. We need two crafting benches. There we go. The workbench. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Um, and I know it's night. I know it's night. I know it's night. Let's put you there for now. I don't... Oh, that does need power. Wow. Everything needs power. Everything needs power. That's fine. Um, let's put you there. Ah. Uh, have I got any more? Have I not? Wow. I've used all my conduit cables. Uh, let's make some more then, quickly. Uh, conduit. Also, I don't know... What I'm not certain because this obviously has a max output of twenty thousand RF a tick, and I don't know if there's anything in this pack that is any better. Uh, oh, ugh, I've got no more of that. Okay, that will do for for right now. Uh, so if there is, if there is, if anyone knows anything, do let me know. That would be really rather grand. Okay, so um, ah, look at that. Look, oh, this is this is different from when I last used it. Yeah, this has changed. So let me fiddle about with this for a while, and then we'll see if we can go to our first dimension. That's all we're going to be doing today. We're just going to go to our first one. I just kind of wanted to set this up uh, so I can kind of do some more work off camera. Uh, but let me mess around, and then we can hopefully go to our first dimension. I need, I need our power. You know how I was saying, eh? I'm pretty all right for power. Pretty okay. Oh, no, no. The um, the fusion crafting really took it out of me. But anyway, right. Just before we go to our first dimension, uh, you kind of need a way to get back, basically. And you can take like a matter 
transport it and charge it and whatnot. But I thought it would be more fun to do what we were going to do a couple of episodes ago and make an advanced dislocator. And I've had to actually craft another um, Wyvern fusion crafting injector. But we will have that and that will allow us to basically uh, put so that the fuel it says there is ender pearls and you can basically just click somewhere and then it uses a pole to get you there and it can take you through different destinations and dimensions so this is pretty cool it's a pretty awesome little thing so uh, we're gonna have that so the next thing will be to actually go to the dimension right then so I have the advanced dislocator and that basically works so you can add like a new thing and it shows up wherever you've kind of clicked you put f uh, fuel by um with ender pearls so just put some uh ender pearls in your inventory then you add fuel if you want to kind of uh, add like a lot of ender pearls like stacks you shift click add fuel and then you press commit so basically wherever i am this will always get me back to right here so let's just test it out there we go look at that very quick very seamless and i love this thing i'm really glad i uh, i actually made it so anyway here we have we have uh basically what i thought we would do uh is make a kind of test one so there we go realize dimension tad creation cost a thousand rf per tick maintenance cost only 10 rf and that is that is completely doable now the dimension builder i infused and it takes four stacks of dimension shards to infuse uh, something so we can do that easily enough this will be done pretty quickly there we go so that should be done uh then the no destination analyzer test okay can i can, i don't know how Right, I figured it out. I remembered. So basically, you have to click that first because that, I think, is the, the thing you're dialing from. So you, the thing you're dialing from to the thing you're dialing to. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, and then we have these here. Now, very important, very, very important. Your base or wherever you have this set up, the Dimension Builder, you have to have this chunk loaded and i do have it chunk loaded currently there's a chunk loader just under here somewhere uh, and you can see this is now fully kind of charged it was it 40 million maybe 40 million i think uh, and this is charged as well i mean the rf co costs for this world are pretty easy so we should be pretty good so bam 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 dial yes you can see that is green so we can do that let's uh let well let's go let's go okay the world move i have an achievement oh we have we have a <laughs> that is cool is this like a void world with wow this is the weirdest world this looks to be just like a void world and yeah oh wow the, the frames are not doing well because it's having to render in like random random bits of a how strange is that all wait okay what well, what we should do first what we should do first very quickly so you can see uh, it only gives you a way to get here it doesn't give you a way to get back so usually what you can do is you can bring another matter receiver and like a um, dimensional um transceiver or whatever it is called dimensional something or other to give it power so that you can actually get back but because we have the advanced dislocator we don't have to worry we don't have to worry about that um but what i was going to do here is very quickly is make a new waypoint here and just do that exit save there we go uh close so we have we yes we have that there there we go okay so we can Maybe do a little bit of exploring. I kind of feel like we're not going to get... How weird is that, though? I mean, interesting that we get Guardian spawns. I don't know if we need Guardians for anything in particular. It's kind of random to see them like that. Um, we can get Sponge. That might be something to get. What's that down here? Oh, that's just a random shadow. I thought it was something cool then. It is not. It is not. Um... This looks basically just like a void world, doesn't it? A void world, but just with guardian temples. How strange. How very odd. How very odd. Oh, and we've got another one. So yeah, this is just 
the the most random little um, dimension ever. But um, it kind of sets us up for doing more, for doing more dimension stuff, because at some point we are going to be creating a dimension. We'll probably create a few dimensions, and some of them will basically, well, one, at least one of them will be full of dragons, because that is, we need to get dragon hearts. That is a thing. So and I think that is the pretty much the only way to get like a lot of dragon hearts so that is something we will be doing but anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this little episode i have very much thank you for the continued support in this series it has absolutely blown me away uh, it really has but if you did like and enjoy this episode a like or comment is always very much appreciated let me know your thoughts if you do have any on a base name uh, and anything else whatever else I've done wrong in the episode, please do let me know. That would be very kind of you. And of course, make sure to subscribe. I've been Ekta. This has been Sky Factory 3. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.